Hey everyone, welcome back to Pink Dome TV where we share the latest Texas tea and keep you updated on important issues in statewide politics and news. At the top of our list this week, the most important day in the presidential primary calendar has now come to a close in the Lone Star State, and Reform Austin is here to give you the latest updates from election night as we break down the key takeaways from the 2020 Texas primary. For 2020 Democratic presidential candidates, Texas was the second largest hall of the night with 228 delegates at stake. Despite early voting returns putting Bernie Sanders ahead of former Vice President Joe Biden in Texas Democratic primary, Election Day voters fueled Joe Biden's eventual victory in Texas as a former Vice President captured 32.9% of the overall vote to Sanders 29.81%. In addition, both Democratic and Republican parties increased their early voting and election day turnout from 2018. As unofficial results from across the state continue to trickle in, nearly two million Texans turned out to vote in the 2020 Texas Republican primary, while an estimated 1.8 million Texans cast a ballot in the 2020 Democratic primary. In statewide races, a trio of Texas House incumbents are headed to a runoff to defend their seats. In House District 2, Republican incumbent State Rep Dan Flynn will face businessman Brian Slayton in a runoff. In another historically Republican seat, House District 59, State Rep J.D. Sheffield is headed to a runoff with lawyer Shelby Slauson. Whoever wins the runoff will effectively represent the seat when the Texas legislature reconvenes in 2021. And in House District 142, State Rep Howard Dunn, a Houston Democrat who has served in the lower chamber since 1985, is continuing to a runoff with Houston City Council member Jerry Davis. And lastly, in one of the biggest upsets of the night, incumbent Railroad Commissioner Ryan Sitton has conceded to challenger Jim Wright in Tuesday's Republican primary for a seat on the board overseeing Texas's oil and gas industry. In the U.S. Senate primaries, incumbent U.S. Senator John Cornyn won an easy contest for the Republican primary nomination, receiving 76.33% of the vote. M.J. Hagar led the crowded Democratic primary for the U.S. Senate in unofficial returns Tuesday night, though it remained unclear whom she would face in a May runoff. The winner of the Democratic primary runoff will go on to face Senator John Cornyn in the general election. As for Texas's congressional contest, six primary elections are expected to head into runoffs following Super Tuesday's election night results, a majority of which are in open seat races. Congressional races in Texas have been getting more attention after six Texas Republicans announced their retirements last year, creating open seat races to replace them in a sprawling field of hopefuls. As results continue to be updated by the Secretary of State website, be sure to check out our post-primary election analysis at reformaustin.org for more updates regarding Texas's congressional primary races. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching Pink Dome TV. And remember to stay up to date on all things Texas news and politics. Be sure to follow Reform Austin on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.